Hello guys and welcome back to Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Justice for All. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and we got into contact with the killer, but our radio, our two-way radio got all staticky, and in this episode we're trying to figure out what happened with that, so without further ado, let's hop into this. So, we don't have much to do except maybe heading back home and seeing if we can figure anything out. Hey, welcome back, pal. I thought I'd make you something, a little something for dinner. Uh, that's nice. Thanks. It's a rich man's luxurious full course meal. Out of a can, that is. I'm sorry you went through all the trouble to cook, but I don't have the time to eat. Oh, hey, you don't have a kid opener here, pal. You've gotta be kidding. Here I thought he had al he'd already whipped something up. Oh, I know. There is one way I know how to be helpful. Ask me about anything you want, pal. Go ahead. Well, since he's here and offering, I wonder what I should try asking him about. Also, it's 8 p.m., but it looks incredibly bright outside. Uh, we've already talked to him, so let's ask about the broken transceiver. The transceiver. Oh, Mr. Nick, you should ask Mr. Scruffy Detective about that thing. What thing? Oh yeah, this thing just up and broke all of a sudden. It, uh, it broke, pal? When I was talking to the kidnapper, it just suddenly broke into static. Look, it sounded like this. I don't hear any static, pal. Uh, huh? Maybe it fixed itself. That's strange. I'm sure it was making a loud static noise. Hmm, maybe. Maybe what? Maybe it was electromagnetic interference, pal. Electromagnetic interference? I, I love whenever there's a... There's a set of words too long to fit into one box, so they have to scrunch it up like that. It's always so funny looking. Um, so what is this electromagnetic interference? It's something that happens when a radio wave gets mixed up with another signal, pal. Oh, when you put it that way. I don't understand what you're talking about. Like, for example, when a cell phone goes off next to a computer screen. The stuff on the screen gets kind of fuzzy and starts acting funny, right? I'm sure this is much more accurate to the time. Uh, because this was written in 2002. Translated in 2007, but... Huh? Computer? Um, it's like when you use the dryer next to the TV and the, str and the screen starts looking weird. Uh, oh, yes, the TV does do that. Hmm. Oh, so that's what you're talking about. She seems amazingly happy at being able to understand this. So, th the room you were in when that interference to the transceiver happened... There's gotta be something there that's sending out strong radio waves, pal. Something like, hmm, like a listening device or something. Ah, hey, speaking of that, where were you when it happened? We were in Mr. Corita's room, the scene of the murder. What? That's it. I'm gonna sneak into the precinct to get a bug sweeper. I'll meet you at the crime scene later, all right, pal? Ah, wait, gumshoe. Oh yeah, baby. It's investigating time. I'm on fire, pal. My fingers are itching to go. Yeah! We should be going too, Mr. Nick. Alright, let's go. Well, things are certainly he heating up now. I don't know if there's extra dialogue if you go to the criminal affairs department. Like if Gumshoe was busy there sneaking in or something like that. Also, it seems like that uh, bear statue with the fish in its mouth, that might be a cultural thing, because I've recently started seeing that in more, like, Japanese media and stuff like that, so it might not just be, like, a continuity thing in the Ace Attorney series, it might just be it appears a lot because it's more of a, more of a cultural item. Hey, you're finally here, pal. Sorry to keep you waiting. 
how fast it got, did Gumshoe get here? Because we went straight to the straight to Karita's room. He had to sneak in to the precinct and get get all that stuff first. Do you have the um bug sweeper? Um, well, you see, I got busted trying to sneak in, pal. Then suddenly I'm staring at the precinct doors. From the outside, I mean. So yeah, I couldn't get one of the police bug sweepers. What do you mean you couldn't get it? We need that item. Hey, hey, calm down, pal. Did I... I didn't say I didn't get one, just not the police's. Wow, so this is a bug sweeper. It looks a little broken. Hey, this was made when I was in elementary school, pal. Oh? By who? Me, of course. Ah, uh, seeing this sure brings back memories. Hey, don't look down on it, pal. Sure, it looks a little run down. But I put my heart and soul into building this puppy here. You put your heart and soul? It'll work. Trust me, pal. It'll do the job. But, uh... But? But you can't set the sensitivity. It's gonna beep at anything that gives off electromagnetic waves. Is, but isn't it better that way? <laughs> well, anyway, since I brought it all this way, might as well give it a whirl, right, pal? I'm getting that sinking feeling again. Okay, I'll tell you how to use this baby. There's a listening device or something of some sort hit. There's a listening device or some other sort of bug hidden in this room, pal. So we're going to find it, right? Right. Now, first, let's turn the sweeper sweeper on. Next, touch the sweeper and take a real good look around the room with it, pal. You can see how strong the radio waves are in the area by looking at the check gauge. Once you find something that's given off strong waves, the, the gauge will change. When that happens, touch the gauge to really give the thing a long, hard stare. There's a lot of things here that, go, that are going to give off radio waves. So let's take a good look at anything and everything that seems suspicious. Okay, pal. Alright, I'm gonna go stand outside and keep an eye out. Give me a yell if you find the bug. Got it, pal? So whenever it starts going off like that, you found something. Lamp, check. Listening device, nope. There are a lot of lamps in this room, aren't there, Mr. Nick? Yeah. And they're all on. You shouldn't do that, Mr. Nick. Don't you know that's wasteful? Uh, yeah, I'll be more conscientious from now on. Sorry. Lamp check. Okay, it's the same dialogue here for the lamp. I was expecting that, but... I don't really think the listening device is in the TV of all places. Looks like the TV was left on, and now it's showing an old samurai movie. Yeah, this channel plays all sorts of international movies, as well as domestic ones. You know, every time I watch one of these old movies, I always think, Wow, those Japanese stars are really good at English. Um, yeah. When I grow up, I want to study Japanese. I should probably keep my mouth shut here and not destroy your dream. <laughs> the radio is on and playing something. Oh, it's Kids Question Corner. Professor, Professor, why is the Earth round? Yes, why is it, Mr. Nick? Why don't you listen to the radio program a little more, Pearls? <laughs> Cell phone. Nope, no bugs in here. A cell phone? What? Don't tell me you don't know what a cell phone is. I'm sorry, I've never seen one before. Now that she mentions it, my cell phone couldn't get any reception while I was staying in Kurine Village. And Pearls has never lived outside that village, so... Well, I guess I can't say it's impossible to live without one. What's this? It's a small video camera. No listening devices in this gizmo. Everyone's trying to make something, everything smaller and smaller lately, aren't they, Mr. Nick? That's what it seems like. But I want to grow bigger and bigger. Well, eating only vegetables isn't going to help you there. You have to eat meat, too. It's the TV's remote control, but it doesn't look like the listening device is in here. Um, so I was thinking, I wonder if a TV remote works on other things, like, could I make you change your expressions with the TV channels? Zap! Hey! Hmm, but if I could, ooh, the people I would give the old mute button to. I don't think it's going to work on me. Why don't we try it on Maya tomorrow, okay? 
Okay. If she dies, I can just press the rewind button and bring her back to life. There's no listening device in that notebook computer, huh? Um, what's a notebook computer? Do you know what a notebook is? Yes, it's a small book with paper that you can write on, so? Well, that thing is like a notebook in a way. It's basically a small laptop. Um, Mr. Nick, what's a laptop? <laughs> oh, the water in this hot pot has run out. I'll go get more water for it. Okay, sounds good. Looks like she's forgotten all about looking for the listening device. What's this? It sort of looks like a hot water pot, but... Oh, well, it's kind of like a hot water pot, I guess. When instead of hot water, coffee comes out. Really? This pot can do that? Um, is there a pot that orange juice comes out of? I don't think there's anything like that, Pearls. Sorry. This is... this is just a giant stuffed teddy bear, right? It's the biggest one I have ever seen. Hey, so did you guys find it yet? The listening device, I mean. No, not yet, but this bear's eye is... Let's see, let's see. A perfectly normal stuffed bear with some really strong radio waves. Sounds like you found the device to me, pal. Let's dig this big fella's eye out and see what we've got. N no you can't. Such... Such a violent act. Ooh. No. That's... It's a miniature camera. It looks like there's more. There's a transmitter and a timer. Uh, what a... What a what a meter? A transmitter, pal. Oh, is this more of that high-tech stuff? So this tiny thing is a camera. Yup, it's a bit old CCD camera, pal. It's a small high-grade video camera mostly used in security systems. So it's a video camera. It runs on a battery which comes with it in a set. But there's no videotape in this camera. This is only the camera part here, pal. The tape recorder with the tape inside it is somewhere else. Somewhere else? The footage is changed into radio waves and then it's sent to that recorder. So, it's sort of like a TV broadcast, isn't it? Hey, you know, you're right. So, what is a transmitter? It's a device that sends footage the camera took to a specific destination. It's like a video version of a listening device, pal. It looks like it's attached to a small clock-like thing. Oh, that's a timer, pal. You can set it to turn the camera on and record at a certain time with it. You can set it for a certain time? Yup. Let's see. This looks like it was set to start at 8 p.m. and go for one hour. 8 p.m.? That was the time the award ceremony ended. There's no date set, so it's been recording every night, I guess. Mr. D Mr. Detective, how long has that bear been here? Um, I'm pretty sure it's been here since the night of the Moida. Then... then maybe... Maybe this camera caught the murder on tape! What? And if you think about the angle the bear is at, it's bound to have a clear shot of the whole crime, pal! So there was a camera in this bear's eye? It was disguised as a present. And I'm sure it was here on the night of the Moida, pal. It's pretty big, so it stands out well in my mind. But who gave Mr. Corita this present? I, uh, don't know, pal. But this means that someone out there's got a video of what happened here that night. Is there any way we can find out who that person is? It's impossible, pal. Radio waves can be sent almost anywhere, so there's no real way to find out. Oh. Is there really no way to find out? I got it! What? Hey, bro, let me borrow this mini camera for a bit. What are you going to do? 
I'm gonna go around the electronic shops and see if I can find out who bought this. But that's impossible. I mean, it's already 9 p.m. Leave it to me. Even if I have to search all night, I'll find your man, pal. Oh yeah, baby. It's investigating time. I'm on fire, pal. My fingers are itching to go. Yeah! He's gone. Yeah. But Mr. Scruffy Detective sure is a nice man. He's pushing himself so hard, all for Mystic Maya's sake. You always manage to do things in the most inefficient ways. Ah! You'll have to excuse me. I heard your conversation just now. Edgeworth, what are you doing here? A rescue team has been created and deployed. I can't say I'm optimistic, but we have to move forward one step at a time. I see, thanks. Don't thank me yet. We still have to find her. Hmm. So, there was a spy camera hidden inside this stuffed animal, huh? You are one lucky man, right? Do you know this stuffed bear, little girl? Um, I have no idea. Hmm. Of course not. The maker of this bear, the maker of this bear is a very expensive luxury brand from overseas. It's completely handmade, and there are very few that are exported here. What? The camera and the transmitter scatterbrain that scatterbrain detective took with him are dead ends. Things like those can be brought anywhere. However, this bear is inefficient. This bear is different. By tracking how it got into this country, this bear can be can tell us who the buyer is. Can you really do that? Mr. Nick, can you really? Well, I guess so. Hmm, it's 9 p.m. I think I can still make it in time. I'll be taking this for now. I'm sure you have other things to, you have to do. Stuffed bear snatched up by Edgeworth. A lot of people have pointed out how ridiculous that must look in real life, because that bear is like, what, probably like seven or eight feet tall? See you soon, right? Wait! What? Why are you doing this? I have no interest in explaining myself to someone who cannot comprehend. But besides that, right, until court reconvenes tomorrow, you should concern yourself with this question. Who was the person that murdered Juan Corita? The real killer. Do you really still think it was Adrian Andrews? To be honest, I don't know anymore. You still have a little time left. Find the truth, right? Everything begins with the truth. Juan Corita's real killer. Miss Andrews is past. The kidnapper whose sole condition is an acquittal for Mr. Engard. And this card, Shelley the Killer. Maya, the only way I can save you now is to find all the answers to this case tonight. I don't understand what your real intentions are, intentions are, Edgeworth. But as you said, all I can do now is find the truth.